Right, hello to the uh, Producers Masterclass for Movember. And uh, you've probably seen it all over Facebook and all the rest of it, where it seems like a bit of a producer's in-joke. You know, this cowbell thing. It's always more cowbell. Cowbell, cowbell, cowbell. And um, I'm going to run through a series of uh, tutorials which explains that all dance and electronic music is actually um, made from cowbell. Um, there's no need to buy all the uh, all the VSTs, all the sample libraries, uh, vengeance samples. Um, they're all just a fucking rip off. Cowbell's all you need. Um, internal effects, lots of processing, and a, a bit of imagination. Um, so, how to cowbell? Um, I've already loaded uh, some cowbell samples in. Now, of course, you're going to need to. Um, have a sample of a cowbell now. The ones I've got are just ones I've got sitting around on the hard drive. But I mean, you could go out and find a cow in the field and uh, you know do a, a genuine field recording, get creative with it. But uh, just for the sake of uh, simplicity, I've got a number of cowbells here. And uh, today's uh, lesson number one is we're going to make a, a kick drum from cowbell. Um, now, here's the selection of cowbells. So, it's a sound you're quite familiar with and have heard many times before. Everywhere. <laughs> and that really is the basis of all electronic music there. Um, there are other cowbells, of course. There's, uh, there's one. And then down the list we go. Obviously these last two have got reverb on them, so uh, not very good for turning into a kick. But um, this particular one I think is excellent. And you've heard that on many, 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 many dance tracks. Now, just to give you some idea of what we're going for, this is one I made earlier. As you can see, that's more the kind of drum sound that we're used to, and it's made purely from cowbell and a few internal effects. Um, there are no rights and wrong ways of doing this and this was done purely by trial and error. Um, I hate these kind of tutorials where they just run you through it and go you do this, then 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 you do this and they don't explain fucking why they're doing any of it. A um, uh, very good example was one I saw last week that somebody had got on I don't know if you downloaded or if it was from YouTube, but some guy was showing how to um, make a layered breeze bass. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Starts off with a sine wave, um, puts a plug in on it to make sure it's in mono, then layers it with a synthesized sound, obviously made from cowbell, um, and then um, puts a chorus on the whole lot. Then he frequency splits it into three bands. And then he remonos the bass, and I'm just thinking, what the fuck's he done that for? And this is going, people, people are buying this. Uh, people are, you know, this guy says, you know, you've got to do that, and then they go and do that. It's like, you know, what? Um, so when you get some idiot like me on the internet telling you this is how it's done, you know, it's um, yeah, using noggin a bit. Um, you should say you know, he's monoed it and then he's put chorus on it, which is put it into stereo and then he's put it back into mono. So, what what's the point of that? Anyway, how to cowbell. So, um, obviously, we, we're not just going to use that and that's it. We've got to do a fair amount of work on it, but. From that one sound, you can make everything that you'll ever need, pretty much. <laughs> that and a sampler and some effects. So, uh, first of all, we're going to drag a... Drag a... It's, it's basically easy, this, mate. <laughs> all you got to do is put, put a, the simplest sampler you can find, OK? So we're just going to stick a, an Ableton sampler on there and stick the car bell in the sampler. Uh, and uh, you see on the other one, I've just put in a basic uh, 
four on the floor kick pattern in down on a very very deep note because kicks are deep so we want it down there so I'm just going to copy that across because you, should, you saw me arranging bricks yesterday you know all about that so um, this is the cowbell playing on fours and I'll just mute that one and that one so cowbell on fours okay now it's not great as a kick drum at the moment is it so we've got to go into the into the sample and play with it a bit and it will be played with it a bit because I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm doing um, so uh, let's have a look at the sampler and I think you know a kick's a drum and a cowbell's a drum so I think we'll just use all of it we're not going to have to like snip a little bit out of it or you know, going to granular synthesis or any any of this malarkey. Uh, I think we'll just put a pitch envelope on it for a start. Uh, so, put a pitch envelope on it and turn turn it on full for a start. See where it gets us. And uh, we're going to kind of bend it kinda up and down, maybe. We only want one voice. It's a kick. But ain't all about that. It's wasting processor on six. Right, what we got? Not bad. Perfect for side trance, isn't it? That no bottom in it at all. Hey man, listen to the quality of that production. Yeah, because there's no bloody bottom end in it. <laughs> right. So um, it's more like a kick already, isn't it? I'm uh, just going to play with that a bit. Maybe bring transpose it down a bit. It's a bit high that. Got a little bit of a bit of a thing on the end of it at the minute. Okay. Uh, maybe let's try a filter on it. It'll switch on. Here, thank you. Bring it down. Obviously, you can see I'm not explaining any of this as is de rigueur for all internet tutorials. I'm just saying, you know, I put a pitch envelope on it, I've got no specific reason, and uh, I'll, t I'll turn the volume up. It's always necessary to turn the volume up on a kit, so uh, we'll do that. Put a shed load of resonance on it for a start. Kind of got to get the uh, transpose to where it sounds kind of where you want it. Play with that envelope a bit as well. You might not want, want the full envelope on that. Hey, that's what I like it. It's a little bit ringy at the minute. Not great at the minute, but I played with the other one for about oh, 12 hours or so, and obviously I've got to show you this in a few few seconds for YouTube. Now it's not great at the moment, but we're going to fatten it up a bit and and, and uh, put lots of things on it, like you know, fancy sounding things like compression and and, think, and EQ EQ. Um, now let's stick an EQ on it. I think we need an EQ. Uh, so we'll go to the EQ, stick an EQ on it for some random reason, and uh, a saturator it always sounds great on everything. Lots of saturation and some compression. Oop, not chorus. No, that's only for your monophonic basses. Is chorus. Okay, I'll switch those off for a minute. Now, obviously, it's a kick drum, so we want lots of bass. 
So I'm going to put a shelf on here. Where's the shelf? Low shelf. There we go. Switch it on. And uh, not on that one. We'll have a low cut on that at 40. Just knock all the sub out for some random reason, like not blowing all your cones out, your speakers or something like that. Uh, 200 hertz. You want to go down to like I don't know, 50 hertz or so on your kick, don't you? And just ram it through the roof like that. <laughs> what we got? We're going to bring it up as a shelf, isn't it? It's not a sh See, I'm going to clear up and think it's a shelf, so let's. That's more like it. Okay. Bring some of that attack out. Turn it. Some of this shit down here will get rid of. Well, that's more like it, isn't it? Something's clipping. Okay. Not bad, not bad. A bit too uh, clicky on the attack at the moment, so I'll play with that a bit. Saturation. Um, we're going to go for uh, wave shaper, I think. Turn it right up. Preset, always go for a preset that says massive fucking kick or something like that. Um, what have we got? Drum kick compressor, so obviously that goes on kicks, doesn't it? Right. Turn it right on, get that threshold down there, right. And just everything on maximum, really. Always clip the master whenever possible. Don't bother putting a limiter on there, anything like that, it's unnecessary. Right. <laughs> you can see, we're, we're getting there now, we're getting quite a nice kick. Might want to. Oh yeah, this guy in the tutorial the other day, he must said you've got to put a limiter on every single channel for some reason, don't know why, so uh, I stick a limiter on there, just for the sake of it, just completely kill the attack on the kick drum, <laughs> that sounds fucking terrible, <laughs> right, okay. Obviously you can still do some work with us with the EQ, there's some ringing frequencies in there, you can probably hear. Let's turn this one on. Frequency down here that we don't want. You probably hear it. No idea where it is. I'm as deaf as a post. I can't even see what I'm bloody doing. I'm going to be glassy. Right. Yeah, it's still in there. Awful, isn't it? Okay. 
Okay, so that's very quickly and very basically how to cowbell a kick. Now, obviously, with some further work on it, you can get it sounding a lot better than that. What I would tend to do is, uh, is just create the attack portion with this one, and then I would resample that, and then I would create another one to create the deep kick underneath, and then I would layer the two together. And you can do that two or three times, so you can get much larger and fancy sounding kicks by laying, but I'm just showing you the basic principle of how to cowbell kick. And uh, tomorrow, I think, or whenever I can be asked, I think we'll... Uh, we're going to go and cowbell a bass next.